Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, I want to tell you about this upcoming series that I'm going to do here. And this is what I'm going to be doing for February. And this is going to be the bulk of my videos because um, I'm going to be helping with my friend Sheila's baby shower. And this is going to be the theme for the party. She's going to have a baby girl. And the baby girl's name is Amelia. And for the party, we're going to use the Spring Market Collection. <clears throat> Excuse me. So every time um, I try to plan for a party, I would like to. S I always normally like to start with a paper collection. So that like the colors and the theme is guided by the scrapbook collection. So this time, we're going to do a baby shower. <clears throat> by March and we will be using the spring market collection by Cardabella or Echo Park I think it's Echo Park anyway guys um, I hope you join me in this series uh, we're going to be doing a lot of DIY stuff like cupcake toppers um, cake toppers goodie bags banners etc that has something to do with the party and I hope you join me because I'm going to bring you along the journey of making the cake, the cupcakes and all the, the goodies that's going to be part of um, the decorations and the dessert table for this party. Um, so for the first part, I want to show you what we're going to be using um, just so you know what to expect. So this is this is um, some of the embellishments that I made when I got this collection initially. I love this collection so much. It's my favorite collection from Echo Park. And I was so happy to have found this at Tuesday morning. And so since I have the collection already... I want to be able to use it using my tools that I have in my stash. And I think this is the perfect collection to use because it's going to be a spring party. It's going to be a baby shower for a little girl. So I think this is a very appropriate collection. So let's start with, <clears throat> I'm going to be using the 12 by 12 collection um, pack that I got from Tuesday morning. So just in case you haven't seen that, let me go through that. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have three packs of it. So it's going to be this collection. We have papers. Gorgeous papers. So I'm thinking of um, making a cake and then hand painting them like this. So I need, I really need to practice hand painting. So that I can <clears throat> color it like this or resemble it like this. I think this is so beautiful. And then banners and um, goodie bags and everything to the theme to the theme of this paper collection. And then also the decorations. I I don't. I'm not sure. I don't think I can make my own galvanized water watering can. So probably I would buy those. But most of the things we will be, all of it will be inspired by this collection. So I'm going to start with, this is the first episode of this series. And today we're going to be making some cupcake toppers. I hope you can join me. In the first um, first episode of this series, and we're going to be making some DIY party supplies.
Okay, guys, now that we have all our pieces punched, now we're going to start creating our cupcake toppers. So you just pretty much put a line of glue on here and put your stick right there. And then because you want to you want to cover that part, you're going to get your heart and you're going to put some glue on your heart and cover that stick, like majority of the stick, just like that. Just so it doesn't show, because it's not pretty <clears throat> when it shows. So I thought it would be cuter to cover it up. See it? And then we'll decorate the front part in a little bit. So that's how, that's how you make those. And then let me show you how we decorated it. This is not the finished product, just, just that. And then we'll put some hearts on top and let me show you. So now that we have these, I've punched out using the same heart puncher, this wood grain paper, punch out some, punch out some hearts. And then I stamped, um, I stamped the message special delivery on there i use this old paper tray ink stamp i'm not sure if this is still available but this it was released in 2008 um, i used this one to stamp in the middle of it and now we're gonna put a um a foam dot and put it in the middle i think it's super super cute just imagine it on top of a cupcake how adorable would that be? So this is our finished product. This is going to be this is going to be our cupcake topper for this party. I think it's absolutely adorable and it's super easy to make. All you need is the right set of tools and you'll be ready to go for your party. Alright guys, I hope that helps and inspires you to make and use to make DIY embellishments and use your scrap stash. So stay tuned for the next episode of the series. I hope um, you like this video. Please like and subscribe down below. This is Christian signing off. Have a wonderful crafty day. Bye.